scale pattern. Uh, the major scale pattern that we're going to use is a, a pattern that you can apply to any note on the sixth string. So uh, I like starting from the fifth fret, that would be an A, so A major scale. I could start it from the fourth fret, that would be an A flat major scale. Same pattern works on every single note, that's the beauty of guitar. Way different than piano, but it's also a limiting factor because then we don't need to know the notes, we just know the pattern. Our goal during this period of time, because we have the time to do it, let's learn the notes and be a better guitar player. So first I'll give you the pattern and then we'll go over notes. Okay, uh, six string pattern. I'm starting from the fifth fret again just to make things easy. So the pattern, I'm going to start with my second finger and each finger is going to be assigned to a fret. So my first finger is assigned to the fourth fret, my second finger is assigned to the fifth, sixth fret, seventh fret. Here we go. Remember it's an alternate pick. Down, up. Let's fill up my last note. Now back down. There's A again. Keep going. So we're alternate picking for every note. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Rest your hand back here on, on the bridge wherever is comfortable. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Don't cheat. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is the note names. So if this is A, put A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. And there's your major scale. That pattern is movable. I can start it from the third fret and I would get a G major scale. Okay. Um, this is a great series of scales. They're all going to start from the sixth string, which goes back to our sort of lessons where we were still in school, about bar chords in the sixth string. Okay, that's it. Work on your major scales.